What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video. It is absolutely roasting here. So, oh man, the heat the last few days. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And I hope eFootball is 22 is doing okay for you because it's been a mixed bag for me. Uh, hopefully you guys check out my, my latest videos where we have a good frank discussion about the game and its current, you know, state, I suppose. Um, but yeah, today we are going to be, a lot of people have been asking me about the new Premier League agent that they brought out to so the English League stars. As you can see here, um, they are the English League, European League highlights. There are 100 uh, coins if you want to buy them, obviously. Um, we're going to go through each player. Um, as you can see here, there is 11 players ranging from the game changing, I think, if you don't have Sun already, to, you know... I mean, a goalkeeper that is not going to really going to be worth uh, pumping. So we are going to open our three um, after we review them. I'll try and keep it short and sweet um, and go through each and all of the players. Um, because, yeah, we will start with Salah. Obviously, he's 93 rated. And look, if you're a Liverpool fan or you're a fan of, you know, brilliant players in general, regardless of who you support, you are going to say that Salah is an incredible player in real life and... I think he's one of the best but most underused players in eFootball 22. And I'll tell you why. The reason is because he's not one of the marquee players that you're going to be playing ahead of Neymar on the wing. If you're playing a 4-3-3, um, you're usually going to play the likes of Neymar and you're going to go for like outright speed and outright dribbling. Um, Salah is kind of falls into the messy category where... He has 87 speed, he has 85 acceleration, and he has 88 balance, which is really, really good. His ball control is good. His dribbling is a bit low. Um, but look at his finishing. It's 88. So for Salah, I mean, for wingers, with the way that the game is, you don't really need to have your winger as a good finisher. I mean, if you're going to be cutting in um, with your wingers and taking finesse shots and stuff like that, Neymar is probably a better option because he's a be he's probably one of the best players in the game dribble wise. But then on the other on the other flank, you can also go with the likes of um, Diaz, who's his Liverpool teammate, um, who I've had for quite a while in my dream team uh, team. Um, you know, who's more kind of just like direct, like pace, dribbling, power. Um, you know, really, really direct. Like you're not going to be cutting in too many times with Salah, I don't think, and, you know, hitting those shots, he just doesn't seem to produce the goods, now, this card does look quite decent, it is six levels, so you're probably going to be able to raise up um, his acceleration to probably just around the 90, I would say, maybe not, maybe so, um, I think that the lads on eFootball TV are still figuring out the, the, the actual player level, so that will be updated at the time of recording this, it is early, so, um, but yeah, I mean, his 80 quick counter, that's the most basic kind of uh, like meta team play style at the moment, I think. And he is he is a tremendous player. He has got the Roman flank. I think the biggest problem with Salah for me is that you can only play him right wing. Um, really, you know, he's not he's not going to play in a central role. I don't think even though his stats would, you know, should dominate or make him dominate in front of goal with 88 finishing. That's some of the best finishing stats of any card in the game so when we go into actual um bruno fernandez you can see here that he's got a different variety of stats as you can see there again he's got 80 quick counter he has got unwavering form um his weak foot accuracy is high he's got bags of player skills there um he's got 87 stamina and again he's got that kind of a range of passing um dribbling but the speed i mean the speed and the acceleration if you're looking for an outright hole player i think you need to either commit to somebody linking dmf and the strikers such as like an outright passer or else you need a guy that's a dribbler it's very hard to get both i think playing neymar amf or maybe salah amf would be a better route if salah could play there as his primary position um you know you need to decide which way you play and a lot of these cards when you're reviewing them and stuff, it's very difficult because each and every one of us play a different play style or there's probably about five or six play styles that we can play um, are different. I think Sun is the pick of the bunch, lads. If you look at him, right, he's got nine levels, which is very, very good and better than most of the other cards that he had up already. But if you look at Sun's stats, right, he can play any position up front. He's got unwavering form. He's also got a load of really decent player skills, long range shooter, first time shot. He's got 83 finishing, but look at the stats that really dominate for Sun, right? So while Salah has got 
you know, 88 finishing, it's kind of overkill for him. Yeah, it's nice to have, but Son has got the perfect balance of stats. He's got 81 dribbling, 91 speed, 85 acceleration, 80 balance, 85 stamina. He's got uh, 85 offensive awareness. So for this card, you can turn him into you know, a, you know, a, a basic kind of version of Mbappe, you can turn him into, you're a Mario type player that is going to be able to like do it all. So not the best in the air, obviously, but he does have enough height to be able to give you an option for a cross or two. You're not going to score that many of them, obviously, but I think he is a better option than either of those that I've already called out. And I think that Son is probably in the top five players in the game. He is really meta. He's really overpowered. And again, you've got nine levels, right? So when you look at his actual play style, his team play style, you can play long ball counter. But if you put two points into out wide or quick counter or whatever you decide to put it into there with the 70 base, you don't really need to touch the long ball counter if you play that and you're lucky enough to have a manager that does that. But if you are looking to turn Sun in, you're going to basically have a player that you don't need to touch the speed. You don't really need to touch his shooting or his passing or any, anything like that. I mean, his low pass 75 would be nice. I think that lets him down a bit, but you're going to be turning Son into your kind of like all round Romario, Mbappe, Romanegi style center forward that's going to be able to turn, going to be able to pass and shoot, uh, going to be able to touch and go, going to be able to link up play, going to be able to run off the shoulder, going to be able to do it all. Um, similar to, to Romario or somebody like that. So I think if you're not just, if you're just going to concentrate on making him that, you can pretty much get him into the 80s in acceleration and you have the, or the 90 in the acceleration, 90 speed, and then you're going to be able to boost up his finishing as well and still have a little bit to throw into his passing. So he is the pick of the bunch. I think if you do get him, he is an absolute beast. Mason Mount, obviously, again, he falls into that category of being kind of like an all-rounder, um, jack of all trades in that attack and midfield holder position, hold player. Uh, he's got eight levels. He does have standard form, which is a bit of a pity for his card because this card is actually quite decent. He's got eight levels, which I think he should have probably got maybe 12 levels. I think it would have made his card a little bit more um, balanced. I think he's, a, you know, you're, he's not going to change the dial for you, lads. Now, he is a very good player, but his standard card is actually a lot better than this one. We have got Gundogan. So again, he's got 12 levels, which I think is more in line for how these players should operate. But his speed and acceleration and his balance for that type of player, like that CMF, again, it depends on how you play and your play style is. If you want to have your run and gun type team, and what I mean by run and gun is you, you know, you're getting the ball, you're doing a couple of, you know, you're sprinting, you're dribbling, you're touching and going, you're bombing forward. You're not really having a measured possession based gameplay. Um, like he is a possession game player. So his passing is actually really high for his base card. His standard edition of the card is quite decent as well. But I do think that this is a very, very good card if you're not concerned about running and gunning with the acceleration and the speed being quite low. Um, his balance is quite low, but you don't really need it for this position either. So I definitely would recommend if you do get Godogan as well to, to train him up. And then on this list, we also have Jose Sa. So again, he's an offensive goalkeeper. You can see here he's got standard form. This guy, lads, if you get him, you're, you know, you're probably going to have, unless you're a newcomer to the game, you're probably going to have a better keeper than him. 80 reflexes with eight levels to train up is just not even worth him pumping into training XP, in my personal opinion. Sorry to be harsh. We have got Matip. So obviously Liverpool get another player here. Nine levels, 63 acceleration. He's a 195 CM uh, mid or defender build up play as well kind of like in the PK range of defenders he's not going to like let you down defensively but I think his balance at 52 his physical contact is quite high his stamina will need a little bit of a boost so if you're going to be throwing in the majority of his points to dexterity and training it up then it's going to be a difficult one for you to actually um, improve upon you know that position there for him because his heading is only 81 even though he's so tall his jumping is 73. I think, again, you're going to have to have a look at his standard card. I would definitely recommend the standard card. But as this is random, lads, if you do get him, you know, I'm not saying he's a de he's dead on arrival, but I do think that him and Thiago Silva, even though Thiago Silva's on wavering form, it's the speed, man. You know, if you're going to get a really, really, really decent um, back four, like, or even a, a, a three center backs, you just have to have all-rounders that have everything. They need to be mid-70s in the speed. They need to be mid-80s or high-80s in, in every stat for defense, such as tackling, aggression, defensive awareness, engagement, everything. 
They need that. And they also need to be able to play a bit of ball as well. And there is a lot of better options here, including his standard card. So again, I don't think that he is worth it. Moving on to Trent. Now, this one is difficult, right? He's got nine levels. He's got a really, really nice base level of stats. I think his overall of 90 overall is really skewed by the fact that he's got 93 lofted pass and 90 curl. That kind of manipulates his overall rating into kind of an unrealistic overall rating. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I also think that if you are playing quick counter, this guy could be a beast as well. Um, he's cross specialist if people like to play with crosses. He does have unwavering form. Injury resistance is high. Weak foot accuracy is high. A lot of player skills as well. Pinpoint crossing. Again, lads, you know, there's various different types of people that play. I'm going to have a video out maybe today or else uh, later tomorrow, which is about like different types of play styles that people use in eFootball and what's working and what's not. And I do think that if you are a possession-based game uh, player, you can kind of, you know, you can use a lot of these players that are slower based and methodical in how you approach attacks and not losing possession. But I do think that if you are looking at options, if you're lucky enough to get Cancelo, I think he's just a better player all around in terms of what you need and what works and what's a little bit overpowered in eFootball 22 at the moment with the lack of responsiveness and with a couple of issues that it's facing. You do need to have speed and speed kills and speed is the one that you need to contend with on the wings. If you're coming up against Neymar, even though Trent is an absolute beast defender and he's a bit overpowered for his defensive capabilities, like Cancelo offers you so much more. He's got unbelievable dribbling stats. His card is a solid 90. You know, it's not skewed by a really high stat and something else. You don't really need to touch his acceleration that much, I think. Maybe bring it up to the 85 with the player levels, but you're going to just dominate with the defense there. If you can bring up his defensive engagement and awareness to about 75 and 78 or 79, you're going to have a really, really good card there. And last but not least, lads, as we round this off, Kevin De Bruyne, attacking midfielder. I've just got Kevin De Bruyne in the, or the City card or his standard card. I'm not too sure which one I got, but... He is an absolute beast and he plays way above his stats in my opinion. But again, he is a pure passer. He suits my gameplay. 71 acceleration isn't that bad. He's only got six levels to go. So you're only going to get that to about 74, um, which brings his stamina up as well. And I think you should just really factor in how you're going to be using him if you're training up any of the players. That is my personal opinion for anything. He's also got unwavering form, which is huge when they do start to update the game, how they're going to update the live data and stuff. Um, but again, way to pass, cross and outside curler, one touch pass is huge, true passing is huge. Um, you know, he is a beast at the game, but I would play him as a deep sit in CMF and have an AMF off him rather than have him as my link between the center backs, the DMF and the strikers. You know, I would prefer somebody like Goretzka or something for that. So... Yeah, let's let me know if you guys are going to spin or skip this week. That is just a quick review of all those boys. I'm going to open up now and see who I do get. And hopefully we get somebody quite decent and see if we actually sign. I would like Sun. I've been holding off on buying Sun um, because I knew that there was going to be a featured edition of him coming. It was in the database. But hopefully we are able to get Sun here. Oh, it's English League. Obviously it's going to be English League. It's five star. Obviously it's going to be five star. But can we get Sun straight off the rip? That is huge. That is huge. That is a beastly, beastly, beastly acquisition. Even though I have got an unbelievable squad, I think this Sun is, yeah, he's one of the, he's one of the prizes of the pack. I mean, he looks absolutely incredible. I can't wait to put him into my team. I'll probably do a review of Sun quite soon because um, his standard card goes as high as this as well. 93 overall, I think he, he maxes out at. So we're happy with that. I don't really want Salah. I would like Bruno. Um, I'm not really... Cancelo would probably be my next choice, but I'm not really too bothered um, about like... I have De Bruyne, I have Salah. Um, I would like Bruno and I would like Cancelo. Even though I already have a Cancelo card, I would like to see which card is better. But knowing our luck, we are... Oh, Trent. This is actually not a bad uh, a bad pull for me either, lads. Trent is... Even though I said that I probably won't fit him into the squad too much, um, he still is, in my opinion, worth a pump because of the way I play. You know, I'm all about, you know, one-touch passing and then mix, mixing it in with possession, mixing it in with slow down play. Um, you know, I'm not hyper kind of like, you know, pass, 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 pass. Uh, so he might suit my play style. And just to round it off with our last spin, we're actually going to skip ahead here, lads, just to bring it to a 15-minute video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying this 
uh, these last videos, the last couple of days. I've been trying to get out a daily video every day. It's Kevin De Bruyne. Well, lads, I got just got unbe three unbelievable pulls there with that. Two players I kind of wanted, um, and one that I like think is probably the, the pick of the pack. Um, so yeah, that is it from me, lads. Kevin De Bruyne with our three in a row of the coins i will talk to you later let me know if you spin or skip let me know who you guys get as well i'll be doing a review on sun quite soon don't forget to check out my other review that i'm going to be doing on Haaland. let me know what you guys think of that i'll talk to you later let's don't forget to subscribe peace